Cartographer is a co-op card game which can be played almost anywhere with up to 6 players. Now your objective is to have the most successful stories within a 3x3 grid. Let's jump into setup. Each player will be dealt a character card. There are 6 in the base game and each character also has flavor text you can read out loud and an epic class skill that can only be used once per game. Shuffle your deck of story cards and deal out 3 silver cards to each player face up. Next we choose difficulty. Easy will include 4 raid cards in the deck, but Legendary will include 6 and if they'll take a corruption card at the start of the game, you keep it instead of replacing it with a new story card. Keep in mind that you can only have 5 cards in front of you at any given time. Your turn is very simple, draw a card and do an action. Now before you draw, if you have 5 cards, you must discard a non-corruption card and then draw a new card. Then you'll choose to do one of the following actions, trade, cleanse or explore. If you choose to trade, simply trade a story card with another card from another player. The reason to do this is that you might have two heroes and no villains, so you might want to trade a hero for a villain. Which brings us to the next action, explore, the meat of the game. If you choose to explore, you will have 30 seconds to think and then 90 seconds to tell a story about the hero and the villain in that location. The story should build upon the previous stories from other players. In your story, you must mention each card name and one of the elements from each card. So in the example, this hero fought with this villain in that location and in that fight this happened and then this happened and so on. At the end of the timer, if the player finished the story and did all the requirements, the card is placed in the middle of the table face up starting the 3x3 grid. If they fail, then it is placed face down instead giving the evil dragon Luxian one point. Finally, the last action you can do is cleanse, which can remove corruption from your hand. Corruptions have three types, defender, striker, and healer. You need to send a hero of that same class to complete the quest and remove the corruption. You should read the text to add more immersion into the game when doing a cleanse. If you ever get a third corruption, place it face up in the grid and discard the two in your hand. You just cost your party a victory point for not cleansing fast enough. Once you did one of those three actions, the next player takes their turn and so on until the grid reaches 3x3. Three three. Now before we go on to show the scoring, let's talk about raid cards. To win this fight, each player must have one story card to discard. If a player does not have one, the raid fails and the card is placed on the grid, giving Luxian another point. The raid also fails if a player has two or more corruption cards. If all players do have a story card to play, they must use it. Starting with a player who drew the raid, they must act out the story of the battle using the name of the cards used and one of the story elements on the card. This is done clockwise around the table. Now if successful, the raid is discarded and you stop Luxian from gaining ground. Another type of card you might draw are miracle cards. These are basically wild cards that can be used in any story, raid or cleanse. Once you reach the 3x3 grid, we check to see how many points the players have versus Luxian. If you have more, then you win. And if you have less, well, obviously you lose. If you have all spots, then your party has won flawlessly and you should try the next difficulty level. Cardographer is an awesome game and it's no wonder it won quite a few awards. First off, it's not really expensive to buy and it's travel friendly. Second, the infinite storytelling and possibility adds to the replay value. Hopefully they are working on expansions to make the variety limitless. The artwork is fine and iconography makes it quick and easy to complete your turn and make decisions. However, the game is not for everyone. You do need to have a creative mind and be good under pressure and not being shy storytelling in front of other players. But it's not really a requirement, it's just to make the experience much better when the whole group gets involved and really reacts to the player's stories and get invested in their own. We highly recommend this game for creative groups who like co-op games. Go check this out, we put a link in the description of the video. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming team. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.